Snow Tracks is sponsored by Ski-Doo. What matters is what's next. Yamaha conquers snow. And by FXR Racing. Full throttle addiction. Riding in Newfoundland with Troy Burt, North America's top snowmobiler year one winner. It's been a great experience. Our first day was just jam packed full of fun and just a good time with him and Adam. Seeing that Newfoundland is, it, this is not a Flatlanders paradise. This is a little bit of everything. You can come out here and you can do a little bit of whatever you want. I mean, most people you see are riding big inch sleds and I knew day two was gonna be just as good as day one. So for day two, we're gonna be heading out a little bit further in the trucks with the trailers and the, the sled deck. Um, and we're gonna go to the Western Brook Gorge, but to see this gorge, you kinda gotta have good sight lines, good visibility. And it was snowing a little bit too hard for that. The, the trip in to where we are gonna unload, I mean, there's drifts on the road, like 18 inches deep and they, they feel pretty heavy. Um, so we kind of thought, well, we might not make it where we want to go, but that was going to be okay because pretty much anywhere out here, you pull off the side of the trail, you're going to find sweet little pockets of powder. Just driving in through the town of Cormac, we were uh, busting through drifts in our, our trucks and our trailers just, just to get in today. So we sort of knew that today uh, we weren't going to get where we wanted to go. It's too bad it's so drip windy. I didn't notice the wind. Perfect day in Newfoundland, you ask me. <laughs> I'm from a small coastal community called Virgin Arm. It's located in central Newfoundland on the northeast coast in Notre Dame Bay. Uh, we get decent snow home, but nothing comparable to the west coast. The west coast, right here where we are, is right in the snow belt. We come to Deer Lake, Newfoundland. Uh, the hospitality here is second to none. There's always sledders rates in the hotels. There's lots of restaurants, uh, lots of parts, service, everything for your snowmobiles. There is serious snowpack here. The snow in some places is up to the roof on these cabins. You're talking like 15 feet of snow. It's aggressive out here. Okay, so usually when we ride, uh, we pretty much push each other. Uh, Troy is the kind of guy who just takes a line and he either makes it or don't make it, gets stuck a lot. I sort of size up a line and don't like getting stuck, but we usually feed off each other and if one guy does it, the other guy is going to do it. I find it very hard uh, to say no. I like pushing myself beyond my comfort zone. It makes me a better rider. It enhances my skill level. It pushes me, it gets the heart ticking. And uh, I love it, I love the feeling. Yesterday I had tried, you'll see on film, I had tried a, uh, a little jump and a climb. The climb, uh, it turned around, it got tangly. We were uh, doing some riding in the trees and I could hear Troy in the distance just going up through the trees and I said, yeah, he's, he's going for something, right? I, I could see him through the trees. So I was like, ah, I see him and she went right up like that and come over. Right? And then it came down and endowed and then he ended up into a big birch tree. So I, I started up my sled right away and take off to see if he's all right. And uh, sure enough, he was into this big tree, but everything was all right anyway. And ended up with my uh, 2016 free ride <laughs> First backwards into a big birch tree. Okay, that one, that one don't go to mom. That's what you guys do at Newfoundland, right? Yeah, hop in. There's a, there's a section there of the snow where there's nothing to us. <laughs> It's like, how did this snowmobile end up here? <laughs> the end of it on you, buddy. I saw you going up and I saw you wheeling. And and it, got, it got nice video, up there. Oh yeah. Skidoo, built tough. <laughs> Some of the greatest shots on all of the snow tracks filming and dirt track stuff is those moments right before something goes catastrophically wrong. <laughs> yeah. And most times people don't know, but it's like, oh, that looks so awesome. I was but like, don't see the end. Yeah, like the week after that and recovery wasn't, but glad you liked it. <laughs> I was gonna talk to people, I say, well, I was, how fast were you going? I was doing about mock chicken. And they're like, well, how fast is mock chicken? I say, it's just that point where you still somewhat, by the grace of God, maintain control, but you're just that. <laughs> that, my friend, is mock chicken. <laughs> I know, I got this. Feels good. <laughs> Actually, the temperature's it. good. It's not too bad today. No. Like. We were rolling sleds over and tipping them down hills and 
Troy was just showing off there. I mean, doing backflips and all kinds of crazy stuff. He was having a good time, but uh, it was it was really fun. Perfect. The, the Newfoundland and Labrador Snowboard Federation, I mean, we have uh, 900 plus kilometers of trail network and it is well taken care of. They groom it quite often. It's different than back home where you go from restaurant to restaurant or town to town. Here, there may not be a town or a restaurant that you're going to. So in between, they've got these nice little warm up shacks. The uh, groomer stops and drops off wood and you'll be out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And there's a sign that says chalet with a little symbol on it. and half a kilometer up the trail, there's a sweet little warm-up shack with advertising on it and whatnot from the sponsors who help pay for it. And you can just sit down and have a good chat, get, you know, the feeling back in your fingers if it's a cold day. And we went inside one of them and, and, you know, started up a fire, had a little snack because we were getting hungry. And it's, it's cool because you'll have people just kind of migrate in as they're going down the trails and hang out, have chats, you know, talk about stuff, warm up for a little bit and then carry on. I really was impressed with uh, Troy and I, I, ever since I first met him, I was impressed with his kind of get her done attitude. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't let anything hold him back. I mean, Troy's been through a lot with his, uh, you know, his motorcycle accident and having his leg amputated. That, that, that's what gives you somewhat of a cushion. He's gone through quite a bit, but this guy will not stop. He was pushing the limits the entire time we're riding. He's doing lines that nobody else will do. He's just going for it. And then there's this. That's exactly why Five Toes Riding has taken off, why it's going to continue to take off, why if you have the opportunity you should come out to Newfoundland and ride with this guy, because he's unstoppable. I mean, honestly. That's the emblem from my motorcycle, I told you that, I think. Oh, the accident motorcycle? Yep, she's all beat up. Snow tracks, television. That's the kind of people I want to hang out with and the kind of people I want to ride with, and it's not holding back. So he, he looks at it and goes, yeah, who cares? I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing. And if I can help out people who are in a similar situation, well, I'm gonna do that. And that's why Five Toes gives back. I mean, the guys, you know, donated to the War Amps and to all kinds of different societies who help people who've been through what he's through. And, you know, if there's somebody out there who's, who's had a passion for snowmobiling or a passion for dirt biking or motorcycling, and you've gone through this and you're watching this show, get in touch with Troy, look him up on his Facebook page or on his website and chat with the guy because he's he's not inaccessible. He will he will talk to you. I mean, heck, he might even come visit you or you guys might even ride together. Troy's the kind of guy who will go out of his way to help you if you're in a similar situation. Since winning that North America's top snowmobiler, I kickstarted Five Toes Riding. Uh, it was a dream of mine for well, I've been an amputee for almost nine years now, so I wanted to be able to give back to young and old amputees. I sell clothing, hats, hoodies, and shirts, and with a portion of every sale, I give money back. I put into a give back fund, which I I pick who I donate to. The last two donations have been given to the War Amps, CHAMP program, child amputees, and uh, I do motivational speaking. I go in the hospital, I talk to uh, amputees, young and old, uh, tell them what they can do. I mean, it's a pretty negative negative thing to wake, wake up in hospital bed or, you know, just lose a limb. It's big. And people are negative about it. So I do a lot of things. I ride snowmobile, I ride dirt bikes, I run, I play sports, pedal bike. I mean, I, I'm very active. And I just like to show the world what it is possible to do and help out where I can. We enjoyed the, uh, the day and found some, some neat little pockets, some cool side hills. There was lots of wildlife out here too. I mean, I'm running through the, through the trees and all of a sudden, uh, I didn't know what they were. These little white birds, they're kind of fat white birds start running out of the forest and they're running along the ground. And sure enough, they're, they're partridge in the wintertime. Just waddling around and running. They're not, I, I was actually gonna try to dive off and grab. Adam says, oh, just, just wait. These big chubby birds uh, fly into the trees. They're kind of like a, like a fat blue jay and they're, they're white, they fly into the trees and Adam says, oh, it'll land right on my hand and take the food out of my hand. I'm like, no way, that only happens at like your grandmother's house in the movies. And no, the bird comes over, flies into his hand, flies into mine. I mean, just it's just cool, you know, you're, I'm in an area that I'm not used to and having a blast and just seeing all these new things. It's, I mean, this is, this is what I do the job for. I, I love this, this is so cool when you get to come out with, with real good people 
you get to have a good time, ride the best, you know, the best sleds and in the best conditions with the best people. It's just, this is, this is what makes this job enjoyable. This trip has been a great trip. It's uh, been a pleasure to ride with the guys from Snow Track Television with AJ and my buddy Troy again. AJ is a really nice guy. Uh, seems like he's a real down to earth guy. Uh, pretty good skill level and sled. I, I was impressed with him. Uh, he, he's, he's sort of like us guys. He's not the mountain pro rider and he, he's not the guy that can't get around either. So, Five Toes riding in the future, I'd like to move it into the motivational speaking side of it and also do snowmobile tours slash ride clinics. Take people in that are, you know, that want to see the area of Newfoundland. I mean, Newfoundland is pristine, it is beautiful. We get stormy days, but it is nice. I am blown away with what this place has to offer. I mean, it's the little west coast. It's the east coast, west coast. There is, there is a little bit of everything. There's trail riding, there's mountain riding, there's cool scenic things to go see, like the sinkhole and the gorge. and. There's just a whole bunch here. This area has a lot to offer. It has genuinely nice people. It has amazing accommodations. If you have a bucket list for snowmobiling, you need to put Newfoundland on it because the people, the places to ride, the conditions, and just the overall experience is something that you don't wanna miss out on. I mean, come out here, give the East Coast a try because this place is pretty incredible. Trail Tech is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Well, it's that time of the year again where we get ready for epic destinations and awesome conditions. And I'm gonna show you a couple of unique products that are gonna help you load up your trailer and get ready safe and securely. We've worked with SuperClamp in the past and their products provide excellent traction, increased safety, and integrated vehicle securement. And this season is no different, starting with the all new Super Traction Grid. Designed to go in the center of your trailer door or trailer deck, the grid offers increased grip for your sled's tracks. It also doubles up and allows ATVs or side-by-side -side tires to gain excellent traction. The grid can be stacked horizontally or vertically to the desired grid and will ensure your sled forward motion and remedy the issue of track wash when loading or unloading. As an added bonus, the traction grid also ensures maximum grip for snowy boots when entering and exiting the trailer on a surface that would otherwise be slick. With a complete product line, it's easy to get a grip with Super Clamp, and the next thing we're going to install goes hand in hand with the traction grid. Following in the footprints of the Super Glide 2, the Super Glide Wide is a new 13.5 inch wide sled, ATV, and traction guide. When you use the Super Glide Wide in conjunction with the traction grid, you get a superior traction surface for your snowmobile track and skis that ensures you don't rip up and otherwise damage the trailer's surface while making loading and unloading easy for anyone with minimal potential for carbide hangups or reduced steering and traction. And with a Superglide wide product, we only need one strip down each side in the middle of the ramp and trailer bed. Now that getting the sled or ATV into the trailer is complete, we need to make sure that we use proper securement for our sled or ATV, because it's the law. And SuperTrack is the obvious fit. This stuff goes in easy, fits together with precision, and can be put just about anywhere you need it. With finished end caps and beautifully designed locking tie-down cleats that even includes a locking tab, you're not just secure, you're safe as well should you forget to lock your trailer door or be installing it on an open deck. Now tie-down tracks and cleats, well, they're great, but tie straps can get frozen up and be a total pain. So something simpler is what's needed here. The Super Clamp 2 is a simple and smartly designed product that we've been using for years. It locks into the Super Track cleat and is fully adjustable for the height of your snowmobile ski. Because it fits in the Super Track, it means it can be moved to anywhere you have Super Track installed, and you can even install small sections just for the Super Clamp 2. Once locked into the cleat, it's a simple push of a locking lever and inserting the safety key, and your front end is locked in place. If you're on an exterior open deck, the safety key can be replaced with a padlock to keep your sled safe. Our final step is locking down the rear of the sled. Many folks skip this part, but the truth is that the rear end of your sled can move around a lot if it's not tied down. And the other truth, it's not legal if you don't. Much like the Super Clamp 2 Ski Lock, the Super Clamp Rear is an easy to use slide rail locking mechanism that once again utilizes the Super Track and the locking cleat. With the same adjustable system as well as the same pistol grip locking arm and safety tab, the Super Clamp Rear goes on quick and holds the rear of the sled with authority keeping you legal and safe. It's also lockable with a padlock to ensure maximum protection from theft. 
Keeping your equipment safe and secure is just as easy as properly maintaining your ATV or snowmobile. And when it comes to super clamp, making it safe and secure is super simple. Closed captioning of snow tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailers, built for adventure. On this week's test ride, we're going to change the rules. We're going to drill down on one of the sport's best anti-crossovers. That's right, a sled that has crossover specifications, but is not a crossover snowmobile. For once in a long while, we're not going to play to our tattooed, ear-pierced, camo baggy pants, shovel and probe carrying viewers. This time, the 146 inch sled we're reviewing is specifically targeted to provide the ultimate in on-trail, big mile, fully loaded touring comfort and performance. The sled, the all new Yamaha Sidewinder STX DX 146. Our crew calls it the anti crossover because of that big 146 by 15 wide sneaker out back. The track is there to provide nothing more than the ultimate trail riding experience. Here's the straight goods. This is the best riding snowmobile Yamaha produces in model year 18. The sliding front arm skid used here is renowned for its ability to swallow jigglers. However, when it's stretched to 146 inches, it bridges moguls and trail trash with the very best suspensions from any OEM. The 146 uses a 1.25 inch lug, another clue this sled is not targeted at deep snow navigation. In fact, that 125 is key in the STX DX ability to literally rail twisty trails. The STX handles every bit as good as Yamaha's 137 inch rides on twisty trails. The 146 inch track out back is as transparent as a glad sandwich bag. There is literally no hint of push or understeer in twisty terrain. This is a remarkable accomplishment considering 146 inch sleds pretty much all display a measure of track edge induced understeer. The relatively low lug 125 Ripsaw 2 out back allows the capable wide spaced A-arm front end to pivot the chassis with confidence inspiring control in the tightest trails. The extra traction afforded by a full-on 146 inch track is remarkable, particularly on days when you're riding on a fresh six inch snowfall. Honestly, how many times have you wished you could load your sled up with a weekend's worth of clothes and gear without having to bungee cord and zip tie all your stuff in place? The STX DX comes standard with a ginormous trunk capable of swallowing a ton of gear and a full-on 3.4 gallon built-in auxiliary auto-feeding fuel tank. All of a sudden, 200 miles between gas stops isn't scary, it's everyday normal. The comfort amenities here go on and on, including an attractive warm windshield and a heated seat. Here's the beef. All the stuff I've covered on this anti-crossover would be pretty much meaningless if it were powered by a boring motor. It isn't. This is a Sidewinder and it's pumping out 180 turbocharged horses. That means the STX DX has enough power to keep your synapses sharp and your eyes wide open all day. The STX DX's 146 inch track improves the turbo's acceleration by providing a much larger footprint to transfer those 180 ponies to white top. Admittedly, the STX DX is a sleeper. Don't be fooled, mortal snowmobiles with less power are toast when they're in the Sidewinder's crosshairs. The sled accelerates to 100 miles per hour so fast your senses will strain in an attempt to keep the scenery from blurring. This exceptional level of comfort and industry leading performance from the sport's most powerful engine package continues to confound attempts to categorize this snowmobile. So let's try this. It's the BMW 7 Series of sleds. Clearly the Sidewinder STX DX is strategically targeted at the big mile trail rider. Whether your trail riding adventures take you on 250 mile day rides or thousand mile tours, all the equipment this sled carries enhances the big mile experience. From unequal touring range to exceptional ride compliance to predictable handling to unequaled power, the Sidewinder STX DX over delivers. While crossover sleds continue to sell in bigger numbers every year, the STX DX walks upstream using crossover sled dimensions to deliver what is arguably the best trail touring sled in model year 18. While we're impressed with the STX DX in every measurable area of performance, 
We have a couple gripes, a squeaky brake and heavy steering. A sled this refined and premium featured should not produce noises which undermine the sled's high quality, high performance image. Yamaha's dual skag tuner skis are notorious for producing heavy steering effort. On this Sidewinder, they do just that. Snowtrax viewers need not panic. Our coverage of the ever-increasing legion of crossover sleds will not diminish. However, for this test ride, a 146-inch track does not mean crossover. It means ultimate trail riding performance. Snowtrax has been sponsored by Polaris. See endless possibilities. MBRP Performance Exhaust. Race Inspired. Trail Proven. And by Art to Cat. Share our passion. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.